Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today so far. Today I'm so excited because we're doing a villager hunt on our city core island, Honey Bell 2.0. If you missed the last episode, we started off this island redoing everything 2.0 style in a realistic city core type of island, which is what we have planned for this theme on this next island that we've been working on. But I'm so excited because, oh my gosh, we had one of the villagers ask to leave and I'm super excited to do a villager hunt on this island because it's been such a long time since we've had one. So I'm really looking forward to it. Just to kind of show you the map, obviously Honey Bell is completely flattened. I spent so much time flattening out this entire island. So I'm really excited to build this up with you guys. Like I said, if you missed the last episode, we worked on a streetscape bus type station for the entrance of Honey Bell. So please check that out if you missed it. I'll be sure to link that video at the end of this one. So that if you like to check it out, you can if you're looking for ideas for your city, city core type of island. So just taking a look at some of the villagers that we have for Honey Bell, I'm hopeful that we can probably replace at least a couple more of these villagers. Honestly, this island I've had since the very beginning of Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I've really had a hard time letting go of it. So rather than choosing to do a complete restart, I opted to just flatten the whole island. And so we have all these villagers. This has sort of been a collection of some of my favorite villagers all throughout the game. There's a couple that you'll recognize from some of the previous islands. We have Victoria. Um, she He's from Sugar Bell, which was the farm core island. These are just villagers that as they left the other islands, I didn't have the heart to let them leave. So I sort of onboarded them onto Honey Bell and I've been hoarding them here, <laughs> admittedly. So, but we have a lot of cuties. So let's kind of see who we can find today that would be a city core type of villager. I think that with the mix that we have, we have a ton of lazies on this island right now. So it'd be kind of great to find either a normal type villager or maybe a grumpy type, but there's also a, a ton of really cute 2.0 cuties that I think would be really awesome to find along the way. So we're going to kind of keep an open mind and just see who we find today on the hunt. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you have a city core island, who do you think is like the ideal city core type of villager on the game? I don't know. I have a few mixed feelings. I really like Cherry. I think she would be a great addition to the island. Um, there's a few other ones. I have been wanting Sasha. Oh my gosh, for so long, you guys. He's, of course, a 2.0 villager and I've not had that good of luck. I've never come across him in villager hunts, so I would really love to have him for the island. So if we find him, we'll have to take him. A few other mentions that I think would be stellar to have on this particular island are, let's see, Fret. I think Fret would be super cute on this island. I also would really like to have a squirrel villager. I feel like squirrels are so cute and it would be perfect to see a little squirrel and their bushy little tail walking around Honey Bell once everything is done for our builds. But yeah, we've got a few tickets in our pocket, so let's go ahead and hop on the plane. It's dreadful weather today, you guys. I don't know what it is. I, I kind of like the rain sometimes, but just like in real life, I kind of like to enjoy it from inside my house. I don't really like to be out and about in it. But hey, this is the weather we've been given for our village run today. So we've got our raincoat on. Let's hop on a plane and hopefully we'll find a cutie. So yeah, really excited to see who we're going to find on this villager hunt today. Right, here we go. I'm super excited to see who our first villager is hanging out on the island. I'm really excited because um, having City Core, I think, gives us a little bit more leeway picking out villagers than maybe we have with some of the other themed islands that we've done. I don't know. I guess, I guess that's a good thing and a bad thing. It makes it a little harder to choose sometimes for sure. All right, we're here. First island. Let's see who's here. Hopefully it's a cutie. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, look who it is. We have to say hello. Hi, buddy. It's Zucker. Oh my gosh, how precious is he? Have y'all had Zucker before? Let me know in the comments. I think he's really cute. I did have him a very, very long time ago. And yeah, we just, I don't know, I'm on the fence. I think because I've had him before, I think I'm willing to pass him up. But yeah, that's a pretty good pull for the very first villager for the hunt today. Yeah, that's that's pretty stellar. I think Zucker's pretty darn cute. I think his head is supposed to be modeled after like a fried dough ball, Japanese fried dough ball. But he always sort of looked like a candy apple to me for some reason. All right, island number two. Let's see who's here on island number two. Oh, it's a little bunny. Oh my gosh, who is this? They look pretty cute. Let's see who it is. I don't know that I've seen this bunny before. Gabby, oh my gosh, you guys, she is so precious. Look at her little freckles. I don't know that I've ever seen Gabby before on a villager hunt. Um, 
She's super cute. She's a peppy type though, and normally I really like the peppies, but we already have several on the island. And I'm just not willing to part with Rosie or Penelope, and they're both peppy, and I absolutely love them. We also have Victoria, who's a peppy. She's, she might stay. We'll have to see if she has to leave at any point while we're sort of revamping the island, but I feel kind of guilty. <gasps> Oh, look at the thunder and lightning, guys. I feel super guilty leaving Gabby behind. But, yeah, I think we're going to keep going because we just started. And you know how it is. Once you have a full set of villagers, it really takes a long time before they tend to ask to leave. So I want to take advantage of this hunt today and make sure we get somebody that's super stellar for the island. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This weather is, like, freaking me out. I hate thunderstorms in real life. I do not like them in real life. And I do not like them in Animal Crossing. Who is this? Is this a little pig? <gasps> Gayla, hi! Oh my gosh, her eyelashes though. She has the strongest eyelash game. I absolutely love it. Again, I feel really guilty leaving her behind on this godforsaken island in this terrible weather. What kind of friend are we leaving her behind? I feel so guilty. Alright, let's just get back on the plane and not think about it. Wilbur, get us out of here. This is terrible. We shouldn't even be flying in this weather. You are not a responsible pilot, Wilbur. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the next island. I'm hopeful we'll start seeing some cuties. So far, we've had some pretty good luck. So, yeah, let's see who's on the next island. This is island number three. Weather is still terrible, by the way. So, what are you guys doing? I'm hanging out having some coffee during this hunt. I like to drink a lot of coffee during villager hunts. What do you guys like to do? Do you like to have coffee, too, or a little snack? Keep you from getting hangry? That's what I like to do, too. Who's this? Oh! <gasps> A 2.0 villager, Petrie. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her so much, but I just don't know. I mean, I guess technically she's like a little scientist mouse. I think that technically we probably could somehow work her into the city core theme, but I almost feel like since we're doing more of a realistic city core, it would be a little bit more difficult. So we're going to keep going, unfortunately. I think that eventually we'll have the right island theme that Petrie would be perfect and I I do plan on having her hopefully at some point on an island but probably gonna pass on her today because I think we can do do a little bit better to keep on theme for city core I don't know all right next island island number four still raining cats and dogs I should have brought an umbrella for us or a hat or something to keep our pretty little bow dry but I didn't <laughs> all right who's here Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, not in love. Definitely not. <laughs> no, let's get out of here. I think that's a big fat no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, God bless him. He's one of those villagers that you know people probably don't pick him very often. Hi, buddy. Oh, look at his little eyebrows. He's sad. You see, this is a life lesson for everyone. Anybody that's angry inside, they're deep down somehow really sad. And that makes me, kind of breaks my heart a little bit that we're leaving Hamfrey behind. But yeah, I just, I think it's, it's definitely got to be a no. Oh, poor buddy. All right, we're going to keep going. I just, I can't. I'm sorry. There's a lot of really cute hamsters in the game. I think that Apple would be really cute. I've never had her... Um, Flurry would be amazing, FYI. I think hopefully my plan for the fall is to continue with this realistic city core island and then I'm hopeful to maybe transition to like a snowy or tundra type island for the winter season. So I'm hopeful that we can maybe get somebody like Flurry and maybe some of the other cold weather villagers for that. So I'm sort of holding out with some of these cuties that would technically be on a dreamy list but I think might fit for a later theme. So we'll have to keep that in mind for sure as we're sort of trying to find somebody for the island today. All right, next island. Let's see who's here. Oh, it's a cat. Hi. Oh, look at his cheesy little grin. He's cute. Tabby. Oh, is she a peppy type? Oh, very, very cute. Oh, look at her little flush cheeks and her eyeshadow. Girl, I love your purple eyeshadow. That is very cute. I like her cute little cheesy smile. Um... We already have Rosie, though, and I love Rosie. I love Rosie so much that my family has a cat that we rescued. She was actually, we found her on our, outside near our house when she was like three weeks old. She's like a cream-colored tiger-striped cat, and oh my gosh, we, we took her in because she was so precious and nursed her back to health, and we ended up naming her Rosie, and she is 
amazing. So I feel like I can't let Rosie leave Honey Bell because she's just, she's my faves. She's my bestie, my ACNH bestie. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Next island, let's see who we can find here. Hopefully we'll find somebody that fits a little bit better than what we've been seeing. Oh, this is a different type of island style too. I kind of get excited when it's a different style island. Who's this? Oh my gosh, it's Tutu! Stop, Tutu, I love you so much. Okay, this is an example of a villager that I think would be perfect for a tundra style island. I think she would be so precious having a polar bear. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave her behind and put her on hold because I think she would be perfect for that type of island. It's kind of ironic really, really that we've we've seen one of the villagers that I think would be perfect for the next island. I feel like that's always how it is going villager hunting. If I have sort of an idea in my head of what we want to do next for the next island, I feel like I always end up finding them in the previous island while I'm hunting. It's it's bananas. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Alright, next island. We're going to have to get our ladder out to climb for this one. Now I know that um, if you leave your ladder at home, you won't get any of the islands with the Nook Mile tickets that you would have to climb for, but I kind of think it's fun. It's a bit of an adventure. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's barreled. It's barreled. Oh, <laughs> he is so ugly. He's cute. I can't like. He's kind of sweet. I okay. I'm on a, I'm on the fence because. I do have a soft spot in my heart for Barold. I feel like he's a bit of a misfit, but I kind of love him for that. Like, he's so cute. Look at his little face. I kind of feel like maybe we should take him, but we're still pretty early in the game for villager hunting. So maybe we'll take a chance. And then um, if he if he pops up again in a future villager hunt for Honeybell, we might have to just take him because look at that little face. I don't know. I'm on the fence. What do you think? How do you guys feel about ironic villagers on islands? I have mixed feelings. I think we're going to leave him this time, but that doesn't mean we wouldn't take him in the future. So we're going to say goodbye for now, Barold, and we'll see you in the future, maybe. Maybe in a future island. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the airport and we'll try again. We've already seen, let's see, what, was he the first cub we've seen? I was trying to remember in my head what animal types we've seen because... It seems to be the case when you're a villager hunting that there tends to be certain species that you run into along the way, and usually if you see one species a couple of times, then there's a good chance that if you keep hunting, you'll find the one you want if they're that particular animal type. So, yeah, we'll see. If we start seeing squirrels, we might just have to hold out and hope that we get a really cute squirrel. I would really like to get Marshall. We'll just have to see how it goes. <gasps> Stop. Hans. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love Hans. I'm not usually a fan of the gorilla type villagers, but he is so charming. I feel like he and I could be like shopping buddies. I love him. I think he, he's probably, I think, modeled after the, the guy from Rudolph, Red-Nosed Reindeer, the Abominable Snow Monster. And again, another perfect villager if we do a Tundra Island in the winter. So this is definitely bringing me a bunch of inspo. Um, let me know in the comments, would you guys be interested in seeing a tundra island come winter? Because I feel like winter is a tough season. You either have to kind of go with the snow on the theme or find something that you can work with or jump to a completely different season altogether. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. But for now, we're going to focus on realistic city core through the fall. Okay, next island. Who is here? <gasps> oh my gosh. Molly, my sweet Molly, how cute are you? She has got to be one of the top 10 cutest villagers in Animal Crossing. Like, how cute is she? I'm half tempted to take her, but I think we're going to leave her behind. Uh, don't hate me for that because I know a lot of you have probably been searching for her for a minute. She's a really, really good villager to find. I'm almost tempted to take her, but I think we're going to keep going just because... Again, I'm not really sure how many villager hunts we're going to be doing for this series for, for Honeybell 2.0. So I want to make sure we get somebody like that we haven't had before on the island. So let's keep going. Next island. Who is going to be here? Looks like the rain is getting a little bit better. Maybe it'll stop raining. <gasps> Marina! Hi, sweet girl. Oh, so any of you that, <laughs> that joined us for the last video series of islands. We did Cocoa Bell 2.0, which was a tropical type of island with a jungle twist, sort of, and 
Marina was one of the villagers that we had on that island, and she was so cute. I absolutely love her. She has a very prominent, nice house on the beach right next to the pier. Definitely wanted to give her, like, top shelf property on the island because she's just so cute and sweet. I really love her. All right, next island. Let's see who's here. Oh, a bamboo island. I kind of like the bamboo islands. In fact, I might have to harvest some bamboo before we go because that's definitely a useful, <laughs> useful item to have when crafting. I always forget there's not a big enough gap right there. I always get stuck on that spot, on that bamboo tree, every single time I land on a bamboo island. You'd think I would learn by now. <gasps> oh my goodness, look who it is, you guys. Sky, she is so cute. Oh my gosh, how cute are you? Well, now decisions have to be made. Um, should we take Sky, yes or no? Ugh, I'm so tempted to take her. I feel like we've actually seen quite a few villagers that I really think would be a great addition to Honeybell 2.0 that would be great in this city. I love her so much. She is sort of whimsical looking though, and I love that about her, but I'm thinking maybe, um, maybe we can find somebody else. I don't know. Truthfully, I'm on the fence, but you know, we've only just begun. So let's keep going. If we find her again on this hunt, which I know sometimes villagers repeat on hunts, if we find her again, we will vow to take her because she's cute. I've never had her. Let me know in the comments. If you guys had Sky, what did you think of her on your island? Did you enjoy having her? Would you get her again? Like, yeah, let me know. I'm interested to hear from you guys and what your experiences are with some of these villagers that we've seen today on these islands. Okay, next island. Who is here? It's still kind of raining, but it's getting a little better, guys. Maybe the sun will come out by the time we're done. Oh, it's a little duck maybe let's get our pole out we're gonna have to vault over because i don't know quite from afar who this is oh anchovy it's a little bird oh he's cute he's pretty cute i kind of like him i feel like i see him a lot on villager hunts though and for whatever reason when i tend to see a lot of the same repeated villagers that just don't get picked or happen to show up in villager hunts I guess I tend to leave them behind more because I figure there's probably a pretty high chance that we'll see them again at some point if we really decide to have them. And how many of us have been in a situation where we've been villager hunting and you, you're on the fence, you can't decide, and then you choose the villager and when you get back you already regret it before they even move in? I know I've had a couple of villagers like that and it doesn't mean that it's a bad villager necessarily, but I just feel like at that point I just kind of regret my decision and then it takes forever to get another chance to go villager hunting again. So I've kind of learned to only take villagers that I have that super wow factor about anymore. I guess that's sort of what happens after you've been playing this game for a while. Who's this? Oh, it's Apple. Hi, Apple. How cute is she? All right, well, she was sort of on the semi choice list that we had. I kind of love her, but uh, I don't know. I'm having second thoughts all of a sudden, and I'm not really sure why. I think she'd be super cute for a farm core island. We never did see her when we did Sugar Bell, which is a shame because she would have been really cute. She's so adorable. And look at the little rainbow. Look, she's got a rainbow, you guys. How precious is she? The rain has stopped on the island with Apple, and she's so cute. Look at her little face, her little smiling face. Oh, this is such a tough, tough choice. Okay, we're going to keep going because we still have plenty of tickets. And, ugh, okay, that's a tough one. I really like Apple. I've never had her, but I've done a build for her on Happy Home Paradise. I feel like, I think that's a really great way, actually, to sort of try out villagers without 100% committing. It's sort of like you can sort of invite them to, to the island, do a vacation house, and kind of see their personality in action and see what they're like. Kind of a nice way to test out villagers, honestly. All right, let's see. Next island, let's see if we have a little bit better luck here. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's like a parade of cuties today. Freya. Oh my gosh, she's so precious. Okay, I feel like I'm really pressing my luck, but I don't know. I've seen her a couple of different times. She's so cute. I really don't know what to do. Oh, I wish I was doing this as a live stream because it would be amazing to have you guys' input right now. P.S. If that's something you guys would potentially like to see on the channel, I've been sort of thinking about doing that for the last year or so, but I have, my internet is not the most reliable, so that's really the only thing that's held me back from doing it, but hey, if it's something that you guys would 
potentially like to see every now and then on the channel like maybe once a month or something like that I think it might be fun so let me know in the comments or find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play and send me a message and let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing on the channel or if um if there's a certain like time of day or weekday that works really well I kind of want to find a time that works really well for everybody so yeah let me know all right we're gonna go ahead and pass on Freya I was a little bit sad to do that but I think we're gonna have to do it we're just gonna go back and hopefully we'll find somebody I feel like we've had pretty good luck so far I don't know we have lots and lots of good villager luck today so hopefully if we keep going we'll find our dreamy so let's just keep pressing forward the clouds have parted and we have a rainbow and it's not raining anymore so <gasps> oh my gosh stop you guys it's Sasha Sasha I've been looking for you forever oh my gosh my friend how cute is he you guys oh my gosh yes I cannot believe this I actually like seriously had my regrets leaving a couple of those villagers behind but it was totally worth it look how cute he is okay well we have to invite him look at his little face oh my gosh I've seen so many cute posts on people on Instagram and Pinterest and social media and everybody getting so excited that he either showed up at their campsite or they just found him straight away after the 2.0 update and I feel like I've been searching for him for so long Oh my gosh, Paschetti. Okay, well, he's a lazy type. We already have a lot of lazy types. And we might just have to part with one of the other lazy villagers that are on the island. And I'd be okay with that because he's so cute. Yes. Oh my goodness. This has been so much fun. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am to have Sasha on Honeybell 2.0. I think he's going to be a really cute villager to have around. I'm not really sure what we're gonna put him in charge of yet because my plan is to sort of turn some of the villager houses into like either realistic businesses or give them like a little special task of some kind on the island. So we'll have to see if we can come up with something clever for Sasha. If not, he's so cute. He could totally be a loaf on the island and he could totally get away with it. Uh, oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this villager hunt for Honeybell 2.0. I hope you'll join me if you're new to the channel. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Please check out some of the other videos if you missed the last journey on the channel. I cannot wait to share more of Honeybell 2.0 with you guys, building it up into a realistic city type of island. It's going to be amazing, so I look forward to sharing that with you guys. Wishing you all an amazing day. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.